All right, in this video, we're going to find the rules for subtracting positive and negative numbers because, of course, you don't always want to use these number lines to get the answer for uh, subtraction. Uh, so the rule, well, let's begin by reviewing what we've already known with the number line, and then we're going to see if we can find a pattern. So we're going to start off with 5 plus 8 is equal to 13, and that represents, that's modeled on a number line by two hops to the right. A hop of 5, hop of 8 gives us the answer 13, and then we've got 5 plus negative 2 is equal to 3. That's represented by two hops, one hop to the right, another hop to the left, giving us the answer of 3. And then we did some subtraction with number lines. We've got 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. That's modeled by a hop to the right and a hop to the left, giving us the answer of 3. And then down here, we've got 5 minus negative 8 is equal to 13. So that's modeled on the number line by a hop to the right of 5 and a hop to the right again of like subtracting a negative 8, so 8 units to the right. So if we're going to take a look at these kinds of things, we can see that we've got some similarities. We've got this, these two equations up here, numerical expressions go together, and these two numerical expressions go together, and we can see, there we are, that subtracting a negative 8 gave us 13, adding an 8 gave us 13. Both of these models are represented by two sets of hops to the right. Hop of 5, then a hop of 8 units. The difference is here we were subtracting a negative 8, but down here we are adding a positive 8. But they both resulted in the same model being drawn. So we can learn that subtracting a negative number, we've learned, we could see, we could say this, um, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Here we are, subtracting a negative, it went to the right, to the right, is the same thing as adding a positive to the right, to the right. And then down here, we can see that both of these models are essentially the same thing. Here it's 5 to the right, 2 to the left, and down here it's 5 to the right, 2 to the left. Um, and we can see that Subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So here we're subtracting a positive, and here we're adding a negative, and they both end up with the exact same answer. So let's kind of mush this out of the way, and let's do a little bit of practice. So let's say we've got negative 4 plus subtract positive 6. Now what I want us to do is I want us to take this subtraction problem and rewrite it as an addition problem. Well here we are subtracting a positive number and here it is. Subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So negative 4 minus positive 6 is the same as negative 4 plus negative 6. So we have subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. And if we were to model this, negative 4 plus negative 6, that's going to be two sets of hops to the left. The answer is negative 10. And let's try negative 7 minus negative 9. So once again, we are subtracting a negative. So here we are, so subtracting a negative, and that's this sign up here. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So negative 7 plus positive 9, that's 7 hops, or a hop of 7 units to the left. This is a hop of 9 units to the right, leaving us at positive 2. Down here we've got positive 3 minus positive 5. So we are subtracting a positive. So subtracting a positive, that's this sign right here. Subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So 
subtracting a positive is the same, there's our equal sign, is the same as adding a negative. So now we have positive 3 plus negative 5. Positive 3 is a hop of 3 units to the right. Adding a negative 5, that's a hop of 5 units to the left, resulting in a, an answer of negative 2. And the last example, positive 8 minus negative 2. So we are subtracting a negative. That's this sign right here. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we're going to have po positive 8 plus positive 2. This is a hop of 8 units to the right, 2 units to the right, leaving us with the answer of positive 10. Now, a lot of textbooks don't call it this. A lot of textbooks will describe the rule slightly differently. What the, a lot of textbooks will say is to subtract two integers, the first integer stays the same, and sure enough, that happened every single time, and then add the opposite of the second integer. So you have a choice of thinking of it in either of the two ways. You can either think of it as a set of like two little rules. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. Subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. Or you could think of it as this rule. The first integer stays the same, and then add the opposite of the second integer. 